everybody, it's Melanie. I wanted to talk to you today about painting with toddlers and young children. Painting can be a great form of expression as long as we allow it to be free expression. That means that it is process over product. We're not making something for Pinterest, we're just making something for ourselves. And that means that sometimes this can get messy. Now I have a couple of ideas about how to mitigate the mess for you. Um, you can use a smock, you can have your child wear a smock, but here's the thing, you don't wanna interrupt their process, their inspiration, because children live in the moment. And if I make you stop and put on a hazmat suit before you paint, then I'm going to distract you and you're gonna do something else. So if there's a smock that you can throw over their head and tie it behind their back and they can just keep going, then that's great. Or just take off the shirt. But my most valuable one is use washable products. There are great products out there. And that's what we can control in this process. They're being creative, they're the artists, but we can control the what and the where. Uh, the what we paint with um, are the materials and the tools that we're gonna use. And the where is, I'd like you to paint on this big drop cloth. I'd like the paint to stay here. And we're gonna have to set that limit. This is not a completely free yes space activity. We're setting the limits of when we want the paint to stay over here. Um, let's look at some of the products that you can use. I like the washable tempura paints. They're good for anything, and you can order a rainbow of colors from any school supply store. Crayola makes them too, but they're a little more expensive. There's also the tempura cakes. They're very much like watercolors, where you supply a little uh, cup of water and they dip the brush in get the paint wet and use it or you can just pour a little water on all the uh, paints and then let them just go straight from there it all gets kind of brown and messy you rinse it off let it dry and you're good to go finger paints are so much fun and such a great sensory activity it's really fun for them to get all squishy and have that experience I like the powdered paints too along with the liquid watercolors these two you can be super creative with both of them are great in shaving cream. Um, the powder paints you can make as thick or as thin as you like. The liquid watercolors you can put in a squirt gun. If you're talking about our two and a half, three year olds who can squeeze the squirt gun, they can squeeze it and squirt the paper. They can use the eyedroppers to drop the liquid watercolors. They can use the ketchup squirter to squirt it on a, a sheet of paper. That's all really fun. You can get creative with the liquid watercolors and the powder paints. And then there's a regular old tray of watercolors, which is lots of fun. If you want, if you can get these really cheap at say the dollar store or something, you can put these, uh, they can play with these in the bathtub and watercolor the tiles of the bathtub. It's uh, pretty much a one use deal. They'll use it all up, they'll get it all wet and gooky and it'll be all done. And then there are these paint jars. I love these paint jars because I like to provide uh, for the children uh, an easel with paint just available for especially our older children. And so these paint jars are closable and you can leave the paint in there and then bring them out to whenever and it's all ready to go. And you can't stick your whole hand in there. You have to put the brush in. You can then paint your hand, but you have to put the brush in. And using the brush and these tools is great for our fine motor strengthening and um, our early writing, uh, for our early writing in our hands. Now. The toddler and young child hand is not the same as your elementary uh, school hand. The muscles are different, the bones are spaced out differently, so we need bigger brushes, bigger brushes and bigger tools to hang on to for us. Um, also, this is an easel that I like from Ikea. I like it because it's cheap. It's $20. It's not going to last you for forever, but when you destroy it, it was only $20. Um, especially if you leave it outside. But if it's inside, it could last you a good long time. If you can find big paper for them, like the butcher paper or the cardboard paper, or like, or just like open up a cardboard box and let them paint on that. Um, or just paint on the table and then wash it off, especially with the shaving cream projects. Just wash it off. It's all washable. So um, we can control the what, 
the tools they're using. Be creative with the tools and, and what they get to paint with. And you know, it, it can be lots of fun things like this thing makes circle shapes and this thing makes square shapes and that's fun. Um, and then you get to see them experiment with color science and color mixing, um, using the primary colors with the, and seeing that when they mix them all together, they change colors. Be creative and have fun and let them express themselves. But I will put one more little note. Be careful about your praise. When our little people make beautiful paintings for us, it's very exciting and they come running to us to show us and we say, oh, what a beautiful painting. I love it so much. Thank you. And of course, that is all true. However, what that does is then make their uh, free expression painting about me, about whether it pleases Miss Melanie or not. So when someone runs up to me with a painting, I will try to talk about the process rather than the product and say, oh, I yet noticed you were working on that for a good long time. And look at all the colors you chose. These are a lot of different colors. I see the red and the blue, and in here, there's the purple where they mix together. I see. You did a lot of work on this, and I try to stay away from whether I liked it or not. What's important is that they liked it, that they enjoyed the time, that they enjoyed the expression. So enjoy painting with your little person. I, I hope you all can find this helpful, and stay safe.